Welcome to the ill blur. Madding, shooting it into, oh yeah. Welcome back to ill blur. Maddie, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, my return subscribers, ill family. Thank you so much for supporting, commenting, liking. New subscribers, welcome to the channel. If you like what you see, Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, don't forget to hit the comments. Let's get right into it. So today's new review is going to be the newest installment of The Predator that I watched over the weekend, Prey. Let's get right into this review. So what I liked about this movie, we had a strong female main character, Nara. Nara is a Native American. She pretty much is the main character. She's a healer, but also a warrior. She's a little different. You know, she she's she likes being a healer, but she wants to be a warrior too. Also, this movie takes place in the 1700s in the Great Plains. I forgot to mention that. So, different setting. Um, very interesting that they went with the 1700s. I was like, wow. <laughs> For a new Predator movie, that's supposed to be like a reboot. Um, I think that was very interesting. Also, what I liked about this movie is... It's just us learning about what's going on. So Nara comes across the Predator, not necessarily, but the animals that he's killed off. She comes across some dead animals, some that were bison, that were skinned, and another actual animal. And she says, something's wrong with our environment. Something is tampering with the ecosystem within the environment. And what I like about her is that her brother is thinking like, nah, you know, something else messing with the environment. Even some of the other Indians or Native Americans. Um, but Nara follows her intuition and she stumbles across the Predator. But now, let's get into the next thing that was really interesting with this movie. Whoever played the Predator did an excellent job. I was like, yo, I like what they did with him. He wasn't super techie where he had all these fancy gadgets and weapons. He had the bombs. He still had the thermal thing going on, which was really cool. Um, he didn't have the enhanced armor like in the previous Predators where he had all his armor on and stuff. Um, he also had like some of the stuff that earlier Predators had. He had like this pace that kind of healed him. Um, he was aware of his environment, that he was in a different environment, um, which was really cool. Also, I want to talk about this too, the perspective. So, uh, in some of the movie, we see Nara hunting the predator. So, pretty much he's the prey, <laughs> which was really cool that they went with that approach. But then we eventually see the predator hunting uh, her as the prey. So, I like that they give us, it's not just uh, Nara being, uh, you know, chased by the Predator the whole movie, which I was like, please don't let it be this. And also, we see the Predator change the perspective. So they're both the prey at some point in the movie. I thought that was really cool. The most interesting part of this movie was when they came across the uh, settlers, the English settlers, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, in the Great Plains. I love how they try to, like, do something crazy to stop the freaking predator, but it doesn't really work. It's like short lived. I was like, yo, y'all think y'all gonna take this species out? And that's not even the case. Okay. <laughs> so I thought that perspective was really good. Also, let's talk about um the other part of the movie. So we're gonna get to the other part of this movie where it talks up was talking about what happened towards the middle mid ending part. So I did like that Nara eventually sets a trap to pretty much uh get the predator it had like a home alone feel to it like pretty much her using the environment against the predator which i thought was a really smart uh way of kind of putting it like yo you know what we're gonna have her you know get prepared to fight the predator but she's gonna have the home field advantage which i was like oh okay she's setting up traps and you know using nature like native americans did uh to some degree you know, so I thought that was cool that they decided to go with that, uh, this, you know, I guess you could say uh, decision with this film. I thought that was a really good approach and stuff. Um, the only couple things that were like downsides with this film, and I'm going to get to this right now, was how did the Predator get dumber towards the end? Uh, Raggy, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> I'm like, what? 
on earth like yo like i didn't understand it i get that nara had the home field advantage but like his aim was off i'm like yo <laughs> what what's up with this how sway how <laughs> you know um the other thing was the ending that was kind of a, a bit of a disappointment we see nara go back home to her her tribe and everything she defeats the predator um and no one's worried about the other people that died that pretty much that tried to protect nara unbelievable man i'm just like okay so they you know they see that they, they, she was telling the truth i did like that aspect of they finally realized that she wasn't lying that there was some other species that pretty much changed the ecosystem that part was cool um i gotta say this is definitely interesting i i, I didn't think this was really gonna work for the film that this took place in the 1700s i was like Okay, I, I, I see it, it works. It, it didn't get too caught up in like what's the now and everything. Um, but overall, I felt like this was definitely unique. Uniquely done. Um, and I guess this is a new chapter because it's going to be a Predator reboot. I, I guess they're going to stick with Prey. I hope so. Um, but let's get into the rating yes let's get into this rating right now me personally i gotta say i'm impressed with the film I, i'm definitely gonna give it a c plus i like the approach with it um it wasn't too like crazy i'm glad that the predator wasn't super advanced or anything um i felt like the story just the ending was just the problem i saw with the film i was like Oh, I know y'all could have did something better with this ending. And just the disappointment of the Predator being outwitted by the female main character was kind of like... This it? He, he, he can't really aim? You know, but this is your boy Ill Blur. Matty, guys, you tell me in the comments, have you seen the newest installment of the Predator the new name, I guess, is going to be Prey. You tell me, comment slash your boy, Ill Blur. Matter guys, thanks for commenting. Thanks for liking. Thanks for supporting. And if you have not subscribed, go subscribe and like and comment. And until next time, guys, I'm out. <laughs> if you made it to the end of the video, you are the real MVPs. Oh, yeah.